All right, hey YouTube, what's going on? It's Chris or Swagger Experience. So today, what I have for you guys today is going to be another tips and tricks video for you guys. It's going to be how to stay alive longer in Black Ops 3. I know a lot of you guys are struggling. Um, I know a lot of you guys can relate to this. So in, in the beginning when I started playing when I was at very low levels, um, I would play games where it was just trading kills back and forth. You know, I kill a guy, I get killed. I kill two guys, I die again. Like it's, It was just crazy, you know, without a suppressor, people knew where you're at at all times. And I just kept getting traded kills. i go like... 40 and 20 and that's not really that fun you want to just dominate go like 50 and 3 or something like that so this video is going to be how to stay alive longer make sure you guys please drop a like let's shoot for 150 likes um subscribe channel if you guys are new i am double uploading today so i have my most kills going up later today on a live com so that's gonna be pretty sick you guys are gonna enjoy that but let's go ahead and get started in this video um yeah let's try to get, let's try to just start this video so anyways the first tip i have for you guys is movement and being stealthy so a lot of times you try to take them head on and that's that's not the way to go. Honestly, you have to be stealthy, use a suppressor. Um, when you unlock ghosts, that's gonna be the key thing. Because um, I put on ghosts and I was literally dominated. I mean, it it just happens. It's gonna be hard because they're gonna call on UAVs constantly. When you're at low levels, they're always gonna have UAVs up. So it's definitely tough. But that's one of the things you have to be stealthy and just your moving and speed. Like if I, what a lot of people do is they slide around corners if you have a scuff i recommend you double tap a and jump around corners but sliding around corners is key i actually love sliding it, it kind of there's been different times and situations where you know i'm in a situation and uh, i slide around a corner and a guy's just kind of sitting there like just just like looking at the area and i slide right past him he didn't even see me because he's in his scope so that's one of the best things is probably to slide around corners the number two spot is avoid mid maps man all i gotta say is Probably in a lot of different maps. There's this one map where there's a there's like a cutout of like a like a like a brick wall. There's also like a building right here on the side. So it's just different. B Dom in this game has so many different lines of sight. It's just terrible to go there. Like avoid it at all costs. Unless you're trying to play the OBJ and trying to cap those flags, I recommend you staying away from those areas because there's in every single map you guys can vouch for me on this. There's at least four or five different lines of sight for B domination, and that's. That's honestly crazy. Like I just like literally, people can just stare at you for many different ways and get killed on B. It's almost impossible to ever cap that flag. So the number three spot I have is to run flag jacking and tag mask. This is probably the biggest key to staying alive, man. As you guys know, when you're playing and you have tag mask, if you notice that in your beginning, like the default classes you get, every, almost every single class has two stuns. Like it automatically gives you two stuns when you first get your class setups. And so tack mass is key. You see a lot of people throw stuns. A lot of people throw nades all the time because nades are very OP in this game. So running flag jacket and tack mass is going to be key. Those are the perk one and perk three, I think. But tack mass is key. I can't tell you how many times people have thrown like just stuns around the corners like that. And I've had tack mask and just been like, I just kind of just like brushed it off my shoulder a little bit. So the next thing I want you guys to do is pre more a lot often in this game. Uh, people fly around corners. People just preaming is always key in every call of duty that's kind of like a simple tip that every single person knows honestly um and the number five spot is just mini map awareness you got to know where your team's at you got to know where they're spawning at um you can judge that just by the way your teammates are like if your teammates are pushed up on one side i guarantee they gonna be spawning on the other so um those are the best five tips i can give you guys on how to stay alive in black ops 3 but the main thing is flag jacket and tack mask because every when you first get a class setup two they have two sons and a nade so those are key man you get sent a lot um if you have pretty good gun skill if you're like a call of duty veteran then you don't really need the, all the other tips except flag jack and attack mask in this game so leave a like if you guys did enjoy if you guys stayed until the end of the video go ahead and hashtag alive hashtag alive in the comment section below i will have another live comp later today guys it's gonna be so hype um i actually like doing these tips and tricks videos like with face cam because i feel like it's you know you're a lot more in tune to it and stuff like that but anyways guys i'll talk to you guys later stay humble stay blessed Follow me on Snapchat, guys. Swaggy Spiel. I'm telling you guys, you guys can always message me, talk to me on there. I, I reply to every single person. Um, you know, honestly, I reply to everybody. So go ahead and subscribe to me on there. Um, follow my Twitter and Twitch, guys. That would definitely mean a lot. And I'll see you guys later in, in, today, in the second video. Later today, guys. I'll see you guys. Peace.